Variables are used to store some specific values and we can use them whenever you need them. So we already learned how to use variables on SAS in the previous lesson. However, CSS language has already the capability to use variables without the need of a preprocessor. And the CSS variables, or we can call them constant properties, they have some features that SAS variables doesn't have, like accessing to the DOM, because they are considered a part of the DOM. We can even control them using JavaScript. Controlling CSS variables using JavaScript is not our subject today. We will use them from a simple main.css file. To create a CSS variable is straightforward, but first we need to understand that we have two places where we store our variables. The first one is considered as global, and if we create a variable in the global scope or closure, it will be accessible within the whole page. Let's create a variable danger700 that will be accessible within the global scope by using the root sudo class. Then to create a variable, we use these two dashes and the name of the variable danger700. Then we set a value to it normally, like setting a value to a property. We go for hex color. The 700 here on the variable name means nothing. It is just a naming convention that defines that this shade of color is the darkest one. Let's replace this color from the style sheet with the variable danger 700. We have one here at alert danger and to set the variable danger 700 to the color property we need to use this function var. Then inside of the function we add the variable danger 700. This is the only way on how to set a variable to a property within CSS. Same goes for the btn danger selector and the hover sudo class of the btn danger. We replace this value by the variable. Cool. We can do the same thing for the other colors. We create two other variables, danger 200 and danger 100, and we find these values and replace them within the file for both alert danger selectors and the bitten danger hover pseudo class. To understand what this root is exactly, so here on the index.html page we have nested tags and the parent of all of them is the HTML tag. And this is what root is about. When we create a variable within the root, any nested element will be able to use this variable. It will be considered global. Now, if we are in the opposite and we want to create a variable that will be only accessible within a specific block or scope, the goal is to create a variable that can be used only within this closure, not anywhere else. We will create a new variable alert link and we'll get its value from the alert danger alert link. Then we'll replace the color value from alert danger alert link selector with the variable alert link. Now, if we copy this variable here and we try to use it from the color property of the btn selector, it will not work. Why? Because the variable alert link can only be used within its scope, not anywhere else. Let's return the button color in its shield value. If you want to use a variable alert link within the btn selector, we have two choices. Whether to create it on the root, which will be global, or create another variable alert link within the btn selector, which will be scope. I'm sure that you are asking yourself, so which one to use, the SAS variables or CSS variables? The answer is depending on the use case, because CSS variables are not 100% supported by all the browsers, and a simple can I use will show some red colors, which means that is not fully supported. So you have to know them both and understand how to use them. And the only thing that can define which one to use is the projects you are working on, but stick to the SAS variables variables as the first choice. And if cross browsers validation is not something you have to deal with, in this case you can use CSS variables.